Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps to cancel your NordVPN subscription and get a refund. Every first time subscription of NordVPN comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. And as long as you cancel within those 30 days, you'll get a full refund. Now, in order to do this, you would have to first go into your account page right over here. And on the left hand side, you would go to billing. You would click on that and then you would go over to your subscriptions tab and you would see auto renewal. And you want to make sure that this has been been turned off. From here, you would go over and contact their live chat support. You can also email them at support at nordvpn.com and you would inform them that you're canceling your plan and you want that refund. After that, they'll send you a link that will allow you to go ahead and process that refund. Now, it may take a few hours for the refund request to actually be processed. And once it is processed, it can take up to 10 business days for the money to return to your account. And that's pretty much all there is to it if you bought the VPN directly from the Nord vpn website however if you bought the vpn through the play store then you would first need to go into your play store payments and subscriptions right here and then go into your subscriptions and cancel the plan from there then you would go and contact the nord support and if you bought the vpn through the apple app store or through the amazon app store in this case the refund is going to be dealt with either apple or amazon so you're going to have to contact their customer support representatives and ask for the refund directly from them now one last thing it could be that you're canceling your VPN because you don't need a VPN anymore. But just in case you still do need a VPN and you just didn't like Nord for whatever reason, I wanted to recommend to you two other options that are pretty different from Nord VPN. The first one is going to be Express VPN. This one is pretty much the opposite from Nord. Where Nord is very feature heavy and comes with a lot of different options and add-ons, Express VPN is super simple and intuitive. It's very beginner friendly, but at the same time, it's very powerful. You don't get all of the countries that Nord VPN offers. Nord VPN has 165, whereas in Express you have 105, but Express is very good at what it does. It'll connect you up to different locations super fast. It comes with the basic features like a kill switch and split tunneling. It comes with some really fast protocols like Lightweight. And on top of that, it has passed many different independently verified security audits. So it has a true no logs policy. In my experience, people who didn't like NordVPN found what they were looking for with Express. Another really good alternative to ExpressVPN is Surfshark. This one is cheaper than NordVPN. It's also not as overwhelming with all of those features and add-ons, but it does come with some really nice things. You still have the multi-hop feature, which is similar to double VPN and NordVPN, connecting you up to two different VPN servers before getting you over to the internet. You have some nice add-ons like an antivirus here, which I like a lot and I use myself. And just in general, the VPN is overall very solid. You have 100 locations, you have the WireGuard protocol, and features like clean web and no borders mode. On top of all of that, Surfshark is also the cheapest of these three options. It's even cheaper than NordVPN, and you can install it on an unlimited amount of devices with just one subscription. Whereas with NordVPN, you might already know that you only have 10 devices you can install it on, and ExpressVPN has a max of eight. So if that might have been an issue for you with Nord, you wanted to be able to install it on more devices with Surfshark, there is literally no limit. Now, if you want to find out more about any of these ExpressVPN or Surfshark, there will be full in-depth reviews as well as discount links to save you a bit of extra money. All of that will be in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you decide to try one of these out and how it goes, if you found it to be a good alternative to NordVPN. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.